What's going on guys? I'm making this video here for the online franchise so all the coaches can see it and know what to do if a certain issue occurs. I'm covering I think almost everything in this video and if I miss something I'll address it later. I'm trying to stay really organized with this franchise with 32 players in here trying to keep it organized so we have a good successful franchise and a great series for YouTube. Now first off the other 31 coaches in this franchise, I want you to be on my friends list so we can communicate if necessary and keep this running smooth. I also suggest that all of you follow my Twitter at Mr. Hurricane for all the up to date franchise news and whatever's going on in the franchise so we can stay on top of things. Now, I've already got, I've made a list here of things I need to address that could be problems in the franchise. And the first one I'm going to talk about is. If guys are taking too long to get their games played, what I'm going to do is I'm going to communicate with you probably on PS3, but if you contact me through Twitter, I'll talk to you through there. And if I, I can't get a message back from you and we're not communicating, you might be removed from the league or we'll have to simulate your game or have to figure out a solution. We need players that are active and can communicate so the franchise is moving fluidly. Now I've said before that I want to try to play at least two games a week. We can play more if we're fast on playing our games and so far at the time of this commentary, 11 out of 16 have been played on the first night of the franchise being open and that's good but it was also very easy because everyone had just joined the franchise and was already online at the time and a lot of people were able to get into games right away and so if this can carry into week 2 and beyond that will be great. I don't expect it to be this fast in the future but hopefully we are able to get games going at a quick pace so we can get a couple in each week. Now some more issues we may run into. First one is glitching and I don't know of any glitches on the game. I mean I don't search for them, I don't look them up and I haven't seen any happen to me. But if anyone glitches and their opponent can prove it, it's an automatic kick from the league. Hopefully that doesn't occur. Next one is connection dropping which is probably going to be the most prevalent. The servers have never been that great from EA Sports on Madden and with the 5 minute quarter, 20 second accelerated clock, I'm hoping that can eliminate a lot of the connection drops as the game are typically 30 to 40 minutes in real time and about 80 plays and now that's about 40 less plays than the NFL average but I think it works great for the amount of players we have at 32. And we are getting realistic scores from what I've seen, and the stats aren't that important. They don't need to match the NFL averages because we're all playing on the same settings anyway. Another one is quitting, and quitting is different than the connection dropping. So if you can get me proof of your opponent quitting in either a video or a picture, there's a two-strike policy. And so the first one will result in them getting a warning, and the second one, they'll be kicked and replaced. Now, if you ever want to send me proof of anything, I prefer videos that you can send me through like Dropbox, but pictures will work as well if you can prove whatever you're trying to prove in a picture. And so you can send them to me through Twitter or my YouTube messages, but I want to try to do most of our communication on the PlayStation Network and Twitter. If you're having any issues, just contact me on the PSN and I'll send you a message as soon as I'm online or as soon as I read it and I'll try to help you sort it out with your opponent and we'll use the PS3 text chat. We don't have Xbox Live parties, we don't have that luxury. I don't know if we ever will, but we do have the chat room at least so we can do our, our chatting and we'll figure out solutions to all our problems. And if I'm not mistaken, if the connection drops out in the second half, the winning team at that time will get the win and I have no control over that so I'm sorry if that happens in your game and you're upset about it it's just it Madden is Madden we just gotta deal with some of the things that Madden throws at us sometimes and if the connection drops in the first half you have a couple of options that you can decide between you and your opponent you can either replay the game straight up or you can remember who had the ball where it was what quarter you were in and how much time was left in the game and make sure you guys are communicating through this process, then you get back to where you guys were, and then you can resume play. And if you guys feel like it, you can try to get your same stats back in that game that you had with touchdowns of certain players, whatever you want. But it's entirely up to you guys on that point. And I also suggest to all the coaches 
you look at your schedule and you try to add those guys onto your friends list so when the time comes when you're going to play them you can communicate with them about getting a time to play it is a big 32 team franchise but i believe that i can help organize this through youtube twitter and the psn i'm trying to get every coach on my friends list so if your friends list is full and you're a coach get me on your friends list please i i want all of the coaches on my friends list and i'm i'm keeping this all organized on an excel spreadsheet i have a name of every coach their team if I play them and if they've already played the current week so I know who to contact if games are taking a long time to finish now one issue that really worries me and I've already seen it come up once I've been contacted about it players not connecting so if you and your opponent don't connect at all on either connection you inviting him or him inviting you let me know and try again the next day and if it doesn't work it's a really crappy fix but one of your options is to play the game outside of franchise if you can and then if you guys send me back a message both telling me the same score the same winner what I can do is I can remove the loser from the franchise change the password so no one takes his spot let the winner play against the computer and since it's all on all pro he'll probably get a an easy win and so after that I'll reinvite the player back to the franchise under a different password and then we can resume. Really our only other option is to just simulate the game and so it'll be up to you two to decide what happens in that situation and then we'll go from there. And I'll be updating my Twitter every day on how many games are left in that week and who has to play. And so I recommend all you coaches follow me on Twitter and stay up to date on this. We've already had 11 games played. I hope the coaches are enjoying this franchise so far. I can't wait to make the first video and really get into this series. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, but thank you guys for watching this video. This is mainly for the coaches out there, so I hope all the coaches are seeing this. I'll see you guys in the next commentary, and have a great day.